Luckily, before quarantine began, I was able to do two photo shoots with dancers here in Houston, Texas. I really love making photographs, not only because I want to make beautiful images, but also the process of making them is so fascinating to me. The interaction that happens as we're collaborating to make a beautiful image is really special and so much discovery comes out of it. So my attempt here is to share some of that with you. A five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm the perfect He's tall. tall. <laughs> so we just finished a photo shoot here on our uh, quarantine day in Houston, Texas, um, with Fernando Hi. and with Chun. <laughs> check Hello. out check out his YouTube channel. Um, so look for the photos. I've done maybe five or six photo shoots total. Okay. Um, but not nothing. I've never glued anything to myself. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you glue to yourself today? Uh, some little a little. Pom pom, <laughs> multicolored, uh, yeah, <laughs> with spear gum. And Do you think? And people are gonna ask you because they always do this like after a ballet. Like, well, what was the meaning of the pom poms? Virus. <laughs> that's uh, that's Corona. Because <laughs> we also had a theme, uh, like an idea of the poses that we cannot touch each other, and mm. that's you know inspired inspired by the coronavirus. I feel like the whole day was inspired by coronavirus. Or the whole life now. Chum, what do you want to say to everybody who's panicking about coronavirus? Don't panic, just wash your hand and, uh, you know, use your toilet paper carefully. <laughs> Sparingly. Yeah, like, you know, fold it and fold it and fold it. <laughs> Feel, every time when I work with you, feeling so comfortable, it's like, uh, I love the idea of you have, um, you have an idea in your head when I'm lost or like don't know what to do because those are the awkward moments that I trying to avoid in a photo shoot or even in at work in, in the ballet but once you you have a small idea give it to me and I will um, you know spread from that and give you an idea maybe you like it or not but you know I will have more direction after that okay and that I think that's how the creativity come up and like a, a lot of time when I thought I look like shit and when I look at the picture you took it's like oh my god what happened like are you like, a magician <laughs> uh, you're you like know? I'm beautiful yeah like <laughs> wow I, more pictures come on I usually take a lot of a uh, good dance picture and to the time that I feel all the pictures are so perfect and they're boring uh -huh. so I like the way that you always you know, you want the dancer to be natural, falling, falling, and in the air with the natural speed, or like, mm. I like those because those are the natural moment of. You Agreed. Know, yeah, that's a, that, that's the beauty. Yeah, that, that resonates with me also, just because as as someone who doesn't particularly identify with like the most perfect balletic lines and stuff, who doesn't feel like they they have that, I, I feel like I, I can feel very reluctant and very self-conscious mm. when kind of aiming for that uh, but a lot of the time like the art and the movement and the, the expression and stuff kind of shines through through those other kinds of pictures where that isn't the focal point sure. so if you're like me and you feel that way then then it's nice to kind of explore that different side of it uh, which you can explore a lot more freely and uh, yeah that's been good for me. I think that's the hard thing about also the ballet aesthetic, right? Because you spend so much time trying to perfect and like you, you can in your head that there's only one way to be. There's only one way that's aesthetic and that's of course not true. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing that we invented and we call it ballet. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Next, I did a photo shoot with Josh. Um, I used to back in the day do most of my photography out in nature, but and have since kind of moved more into the studio. Um, so it was kind of fun for he and I to go out into a park and, and interact with nature. I don't know if this is gonna sound offensive. You can be controversial. No, I think you were freer in the photo shoot, maybe. Yeah. Maybe because there's so much pressure with putting together a piece and having a deadline and... Mm. I always, I didn't feel like you were ever stuck when we were creating in the studio. Right. But I think it was, it was like work time. Yeah. Whereas this was like play time. I would Maybe agree it's not totally. controversial at all. I'm, I like prepped for a big <laughs> ball drop. <laughs> 
No, I, I consciously work that way. Like it's just a different way. It's a different exercise of, of the brain for me. Yeah. Because with, with dance, I know what I want exactly. Mm -hmm. Or like this, I'd rather create an environment where I can kind of capture, oh, it's this way. Sorry. Your spontaneity, you know, just you being you. Yeah, definitely. Well, also there's probably a lot of pressure when you're like, here it was just me no. and you, but right. then we had yeah, there's 29 no people or something, right? In the studio that you have to like that sounds right be ready for and we're all like looking to you and <laughs> there's no steps at the beginning right so right. you're like how do i entertain these people how do i entertain <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well good i hope you feel entertained no definitely in the studio also what's both were very fun okay cool i kind of agree to it and i'm not i think that i can let myself have more fun i think because those studios man sometimes you're just like this has to be really good uh, but with you it was like it's gonna be really good if you're like having fun you know okay like when you told us to be a rock star i was like that's what i needed before the tech rehearsal you know okay because we've cleaned it so much and like mm. suddenly there's like tons of counts and everything which is like good when you're in a big space and trying to be a team right mm. but then it was like that's what i needed to like get the soul back into it. Okay, I see. <laughs> so do you feel prepared? I do feel prepared. Yeah? Yeah. Like, you look prepared. I feel like I'm already sad for it to be over. Uh -huh. <laughs> we haven't even opened it. Uh -huh. Which is kind of stupid. That's I need lovely. To be in the what moment a, with what it. What a beautiful thing to say. <laughs> no, I think everyone's a bit like, Oh, we're not going to be rehearsing this every day uh, now. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, we have to turn out again? <laughs> <laughs> you have to turn out. Wait, and I'm the pace, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I haven't been, but I will now. Okay, now that you know. Mm. <laughs> Rockstar, but turned out. Mm -hmm. I'll send you like a, you get like a web page that has anything usable. Okay. And, um, and it's going to be like empty when you send it to me, isn't it? You're going to be like, sorry, you sucked. <laughs> this is going to be an empty page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That'd be so nasty. The majority of the photography I do involves naked bodies, and I think Josh in the beginning didn't think I'd be interested in working with him because that wasn't something he was comfortable with, but I do all kinds of different photo shoots. Um, and so we, he and I kind of discussed attitudes about nudity. I think, you can always... I think it's something that, especially in the countries I've lived in, is not super prominent, and so it doesn't feel normalized yet but maybe you're on your way to doing that i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's a goal or anything, i noticed but... it in australia for sure yeah like maybe like... even more so than here oh, like yeah. the reservation yeah here i don't i don't deal with it that much i try so hard to work with such integrity around it yes right but the, you don't see anything that's like offensive it's also right. beautifully done so it's yeah, hard as you so say. Maybe I should do like, some offensive stuff. Yeah, do something real I would love to. I would love to be that guy. Um, but no, I, I would love to. I, I'm not trying to not be controversial, but I am. I just don't ever want to be exploitative or, right. you know, cheap or that kind of thing. Like, sexual is fine, or like anything that right. would, like, would come from a human, great. Like, I think that's all worth exploring. I just, you know, I don't ever like use a person. Yeah, well, nothing level. is, like, for shock value or anything, right? Like, I feel like... I don't think so. I don't, that's not my goal ever. You have, like, a natural sensitivity to it. I feel like it would be hard to... Mm. I feel well, like... That's why I ask you these questions, honestly, because, like, in doing nudes, what I honestly care more about is what your experience is. And, mm -hmm. like, because, like, when I first started in working with these athletes in Idaho... Mm -hmm people that have would never like they would see that as a thing that happens somewhere else yeah noticed. and so like oh like to watch somebody go from not considering it to like the empowering thing of standing in your own body and feeling yeah. like good being seen in that way it's it's like a healing thing for me so those might be the last in-person photo shoots I do for a while as we battle COVID-19. But I have been experimenting with doing photography via Skype and Zoom. So check back soon to see how those went.